Okay. Let's watch this. Okay. It is time. Okay. This is completely new. So, let's see what this is all about, shall we? Yes, cat video. That can come later. That can come later. Let's have a look. Ow! Ow! Ah! Ow! My legs! Oh my god, that hurt! Ow! Ow! Oh, oh no. No, 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 no! Hello again. <laughs> Welcome back to Finland. A couple of months ago, I had a no good, very bad, terrible idea. I thought to myself, wouldn't it be fun if I made a YouTube short where for every subscriber it got, I'd drive 20 meters in this wonderful game, My Summer Car. The catch? The entire distance would be driven in this. The Satsuma. A car I assembled myself. But Satsuma has a little problem. Every part in the engine... <laughs> yeah, that, that seems a little problem. Yeah, sure. Why, why, why the fuck not, right? <laughs> but Satsuma has a little problem. Every part in the engine has durability and can break. Every single one. And believe me, they do break. Often. Now this probably huh. would have been a good idea if I didn't make one simple. What's the point of having a car that is very low in durable in durability though? Like, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Crucial mistake. Underestimating. Hmm, nothing glue and duct tape can fix. You probably need a duct tape for that one. No, flex tape. You need a flex tape for that one. Just how many people like watching numbers go up. And so, on a fateful August day, I released that short. This is the story of why that was a terrible mistake. So, let us begin. <laughs> but first, I recently caught an employee using Google Chrome. This is exactly how that went down. Okay, Jim, I'll put you down for your regular 22-hour shift. Wait a minute. Using Chrome? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, fuckos, because this video is sponsored by Opera GX, the most awesome web browser ever. Riz? Who the fuck wrote this? Do you want more from your dainty, <laughs> shit web browser? Well, fear not, because GX Mods has got you covered. Typing on my keyboard these days has become far too peaceful. Introducing the Meow Keyboard. Mods has got you covered. Typing on my keyboard these days has become far too peaceful. Look, I have boobs, but this guy has bigger boobs than me. What the actual fuck? I have boobs, but this guy has bigger boobs than me. What the fuck? Diesel, introducing the Meow Keyboard Mod. The Fart Keyboard Mod. <laughs> or maybe download my mod. Don't like my mod? Well, um, fuck you. If you don't like my mod, the GX Store is filled with mods that will tickle your fancy. Did you think that was all, you naive manlet? Opera GX supports Chrome extensions like everyone's favorite Mr. Beast on every thumbnail across all of YouTube. Don't like YouTube? The sidebar allows you to go wherever you want. Twitch.tv, Discord.gg, TikTok.ccp, and everyone's favorite Twi uh, X. X. Do you like free <laughs> games? Well, the GX Corner can set you up with the deal of a lifetime every five minutes. It also keeps you up to date with all of the important news. Like for okay, honestly, for some reason, Elon Musk is like so upset with uh, so obsessed with X for some reason. I remember like when he owned PayPal back then, he wanted to change PayPal to X, and PayPal is like, no, get the fuck out of here or something. I I don't know, but he wanted to change PayPal to X, and I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? The fuck? What are you waiting for? Download Opera GX today, or I will find you and do terrible things to your foreskin. <laughs> this isn't a joke. Michael. Michael. Use my link in the description and pin comment, and thank you to Opera GX once again for sponsoring this video. Yeah, it's just two sticks picking across, yeah. Um, uh, anyway. With that, it was time to release the short. So I released the short. For every like it got, I'd drive one meter, and for every subscriber it got, I'd drive 20. My expectations weren't particularly high, so when the short became my best performing short, got over 300,000 likes and over 50,000 subscribers, I went... Oh no. <laughs> that translates to 1,507.6 kilometers. In this. Well. Shit. I couldn't back out now, I'd said I was gonna do it, so I guess it was time for a Martin Cito Pants classic. A really long live stream. 
So, I spent a few days making some plans and preparations. And when the day came... Okay. Went live. Thursday. A good day to begin the longest drive of my life. I loaded the car up with the two most important items, beer and chips, and set off. The first lap around the lake it would works. serve as a good warm-up lap. I crossed over the train tracks. I drove past my idiot cousin. I got some supplies from home. A jerry can, a helmet, a jack stand, and some motor oil. I drove past grandma's house and the wonderful smelling sewer truck that I drove. The donations. So many donations. Now this is where it Hey look, Martin, like seriously, it stonks. Look, literally you're stonks right now. You you are stonking right now. You should watch his just cause speedrun video. I have, I have. It's pretty fun to watch. Might be important <laughs> to mention a small, tiny little detail. My team and I thought to ourselves, well, this stream is gonna be great and all, but it's lacking a certain amount of Stonks, but at what cause? Mm. Interactivity. This right here is where we turned this bad idea into a fucking terrible one. We thought to ourselves, wouldn't it be funny if every donation that gets- Like, it is scary, because it's your boy team, is waiting for, like, my sub- Like, my sub- My, um, my timer? To go all the way down to, like, at least, like, nine or eight hours or something. And he's gonna pop it all the way up to three months. At least that's what he said. He's waiting for the timer to go down so he can pop it all the way back up to three months straight. So that's like over 200 fucking hours. Dude, did I sign up for something terrible or something? Because this is horrifying. Like, this is actually horrifying. So I understand his pain. I understand his pain. Adds a bit of distance. 10 meters for every dollar, let's say. And then, we thought to ourselves, Hmm, that's clearly not going to be enough distance. Let's add a multiplier. It's late, I'm going to make a 3 and Ram Ramley Burger and go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, just go to fucking sleep, man. Good night. Have fun. Don't masturbate too hard. Hmm, yeah, it's it's good. Good. Yes, I got her. another great idea. With all that weighing on my mind, I had no choice but to keep driving. <laughs> So I kept driving. I drove back over the train tracks, past the swamp, past some lumber, onto the highway, off the highway, into town, onto the dirt track, past the dance pavilion, and before I knew it, lap one had been completed. Mm -hmm. Now, it's hard to sound relatable when complaining about a literal flood of money, but oh, the distance John. was in fact increasing very, very fast. Or at least it should have been. The distance hadn't actually moved at all for the past 20 minutes. Yes, that's right. Shortly after the stream started, the code shit itself and died. <laughs> Why? Well, for the code to tell how much someone donated, we first had to convert their currency into US dollars. But for some reason, the system we were using was missing some of the more obscure currencies. So when someone donated in fucking Cambodian Riel, the code was like, what the fuck is a Cambodian Riel? And died. Huh? Aside from the code shitting itself and the distance being negative for some reason, Thursday had been a success and the car was working great. Greetings from Minnesota. Hope the suffering is good. Soda! In the other room, the monkeys had been furiously assaulting their keyboards and had finally got the code back up and running again. Oh, the code's up and running. The distance went up 300 kilometers. What? <laughs> it was in this moment, right here, that I realized. I fucked up. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Anyway. I sleep. <laughs> Friday. Waking up, I ch <laughs> checked my wonderful watch that I got from 100% legitimate means and did not steal <laughs> Really? <laughs> I've already done that. You didn't have to. Anyone at all. It read 10 a.m. Friday. A perfect day for driving everyone's favorite shit. Really? Mobile. Satsuma. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. 
Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Calm! Satsuma. A car that I built myself long ago. <laughs> Huge surprise then that Satsuma, as it turns out, is the least reliable piece of shit. I swear. I swear to God, any kind of. I swear to God, any kind of sound effects that I have that is similar to the soundtrack, people are just gonna fucking spam it, like seriously. Ever put on four wheels. Sometimes the oil is just black, the coolant haste being inside the radiator. <laughs> All of my tires have gone flat, there's a small rodent living in the engine, the head gasket has exploded. <laughs> the carburetor fell off, now the car is very much on fire. The battery has gone flat. Again. All the body panels have mysteriously gone missing. The pistons are gone. Okay, I've sorted all that out. Time for a nice, relaxing drop. <laughs> so yeah, this car sucks, and sooner or later it was gonna eat shit and die. And when it did, I'd have to figure that out- That house is the most durable house I've ever seen. What went wrong, and fix it myself. Anyway, with all that being said, it was Friday. A great day for driving, which is exactly what I did the entire day. I encountered Cousin. I overtook Cousin. I crashed my car into a rock. I crashed into a pile of lumber. And then a donation told me to buckle my seatbelt. Buckle thy harness. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. <laughs> well, you fucker. Fuck. In this crash, my windshield had made the regrettable decision of breaking into a million pieces. Which is unfortunate for me, because a windshield offers protection from things such as high velocity bug. I think she's done with us, chat. Really? No way! No way! Unfortunately, the only person capable of repairing my windshield is this guy, the local mechanic. And repairing it would take him several days. This is precisely why I brought a helmet with me. So if any bugs were about, they wouldn't- I think this subathon is driving me to insanity. <laughs> I think. ...find their way into my eyeballs. Uh and so, let's keep it moving back to the road. The rest of the driving on Friday was mostly uneventful, apart from when I crashed the car, and also when I crashed the car again, and when I drove over the train tracks. Okay, that's about happen. Oh yeah! Uh, yeah, so what the fuck was that? That, my friends, is Idiot Tier. A Idiot Tier? 500 US dollar YouTube membership tier. What? That adds 20 more kilometers. So when some lovely gentleman pressed join, clicked Idiot Tier, entered his bank details, more than likely got a call from the bank asking him what the fuck he's doing, and clicked purchase, it did this. Oh, there it is! And with that, the day was over. Sleepy time. Honk. Honk. <laughs> Honk. Saturday. Yet another beautiful day in Finland. Now, let's have a look at the distance. Okay, we've done 87 kilometers. That's a pretty good pace. At this rate, we're going to get there at... Um, um, uh, 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 yes, that's right. In two hours, the distance had increased by 1,000 kilometers. Have you ever heard of the Bugatti Chiron? The fastest car on Earth? That car. Still um, it's not the fastest car on Earth, but fair enough. I think the fastest car on Earth is a Koenigsegg, if I remember correctly. I think it's a Koenig sake. By 1,000 kilometers. Have you ever heard of the Bugatti Chiron? 
the fastest car on earth, that car still wouldn't be able to keep up. Now, yes, that's pretty bad, but surely the donations would calm down as time went on. Right? Right? <laughs> anyway, Saturday would bring about more challenges. The rally race. Driving on this road was now significantly more dangerous because of these guys. Their only goal is to go fast. They do not care if something's in their way. <laughs> but I had a plan. Wait for one of the drivers to shoot past and try my best to follow him. I waited for my moment, a car came barreling past, and the chase was on. I can hit people! No, 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 no! Oh no. Please tell me I didn't hit anyone. <laughs> well, shit. This guy right here is one lucky bloke. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. It's just upside down. Once I'd finagled the car back onto its wheels, I continued driving. Please start. I'm begging you. Yes! There we Maybe go! Maybe trying to keep up with the car in front of me was a bad idea. So how about instead let's drive a bit more conservatively. Make sure I don't see Quez is actually nerd. Shut the fuck up. Look, I like cars, okay? Fucking... Bruh. The rest of the day, I spent driving, looking around for my ratchet set, my ratchet set, and losing bits of my car. Why are you guys staring? I don't understand. Pavilion. Not for any particular reason, just because I wanted to see what was going on. To be perfectly honest, not much. I like this guy's moves. <laughs> I made a bit of a scene, and the security guard didn't really appreciate that. So, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not coming over there. No, 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 no. Let's go home. Going home would take me past the repair shop, and while I was there, I figured that I should probably take a quick look at the car and see how it's doing. To make a long story short, not great. Car engines need oil. If you don't have oil, then the metal in the engine scrapes against the other metal in the engine and horrible- Oi, I got a message on Discord. Quiz, can you show boobies? Fine! Jesus Christ, that's like the fifth time you've asked me, you want it so badly? Fine, here we go, here, here. boom. You happy? You happy? You little shit. Well, no good, very bad things happen. <laughs> My bra is holding for its dear life right now. <laughs> Oil is meant to be a slightly golden color. But when I checked the dipstick, it was not in fact a golden color. And That's in bad. fact, pitch black, just black. <laughs> Running the car on this filthy oil had no doubt done a lot of damage to the engine, but that would be a problem for future Mart. Current Mart just replaced the oil and went home. Sunday. We had completed a pretty decent 118 kilometers out of 2,000 600. Fuck! Things were looking progressively worse <laughs> and worse and worse. When Today, it reached 3,000! I was going the sofa from my house into town so I could sleep there. The problem with that, however, <laughs> is the sofa is far too big for little Satsuma. But I could do this. During my trip into town, I had to cross over the train tracks. How that even every work? lap I did around the map, I'd cross over them twice. Once here and once over here. And every time I went over them, I prayed, I hoped, I begged that the train wasn't there to turn me into a fine, finished paste. Even worse, the stupid sofa I was holding was taking up half of my screen. And so, of course. Uh, well, never mind then. I guess all that worrying was all for The train is here! <laughs> no! Well, young male dead in a traffic accident. You mean he fucking got ran on by a train? <laughs> Shit. It's okay. I made some preparations before I started this stream. I have this bike. Arriving on scene, the car was looking a little worse for wear. The fuel tank had fallen out, my supplies were scattered all over the floor, and the sofa was nowhere to be seen. I had the couch, the couch is no longer here, so I got to fix it. Once everything was back on the car, I filled up the fuel tank with my jerry can and started her up. Hey! Yes! Driving the car, I quickly realized that one of the wheels was very much 
the fact that he's happy that the car even start is actually a wonder why would he even drive it <laughs> you know like, if a car is having trouble starting why are you driving it <laughs> much bent so to fix this i went back home and found the digging bar so watch this the other wheels bent slightly to the right do that that's a little better Ooh, that's a lot better. And with the car fully repaired, I sleep. <laughs> Monday, the start of a brand <laughs> and new week, and more importantly, no more rally race. Today, I was gonna try drive as far as possible, and to prepare my mind and body for this task, I present to you. Wait, I got a message. Wait. Now, can you please show your naked boobs? Do you want to fucking die, bro? Holy shit. Do you want to fucking die? And of course, Anyways, once Chip was complete, Lord have mercy, I'm about to bro. burst. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Again? <that> was... <laughs> Again? Monday. <laughs> A few more laps around the lake complete, and... Oh, what the fuck? Is that... Three... Three thousand?! Uh, 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 <laughs> really? Tuesday. Around this point, I was getting a bit sick of having to wear the helmet whenever I was driving. And chat was too. So I came up with an idea. Meet Flitari, the mechanic. Flitari is the only guy that can fix my windshield. I love his editing, holy shit. I'm trying not to make this reaction too long, because, you know, it's a long fucking video in the entire country of Finland. Hello, and doing so... Hello, Black! I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? It takes him several days, which in real life is a few hours. No good. So I offer the chat two options. Fix the windshield instantly, but in return drink an entire case of beer, or do nothing and keep driving normally. Chat clearly and resoundingly voted for drunk driving. I'm so proud. So, Fleetari fixed my windshield, I put back 20 beers in a row, and hit the road. And you know what? I get it. It should be illegal to be having this much fun behind the wheel. Oh my god! Oh my god! of Tuesday went pretty well, considering the circumstances. I managed to find the oh, sofa that went missing after the train, the train incident, and it completed another solid day of driving. I was in town, so I figured why not have a meal and beer at the pub. And this is where I met my old nemesis. Uh, this guy. I don't know his name. Many moons ago, I beat him up and stole his watch. Turns out, he didn't appreciate that very much. Oh shit, he's punching me. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I got knocked out. I didn't realize at the time, but he also took his watch back. Where's my watch? <coughs> Fucking bastard. As the hours wore on, I got bored of driving like a conservative grandma. Ever since I found an entire bottle of nitrous sitting in the boot of my car, I have a lot of nitrous. I've been absolutely ripping it down the track. That was until, of course, I hit this bump a little too hard, oh, the no. car veered sharply off the road, and came to a stop at the hands of lumber. <laughs> this very minor high-speed accident caused the head gasket to explode. I didn't realize this, however, so after a lot of troubleshooting, the car driving weirdly, the car not starting, and various other oh. silly happenings, I finally replaced the head. 
uh, keep watching, guys. I am going to reset this thing really quick, quickly. I will. I am still watching, so don't, so don't uh, worry. I'm just resetting things. Gasket and fuel pump, and the car works just fine. And you know what that means? Murder. Murder. That guy <laughs> who stole my watch, he was gonna fucking okay. get it. I am taking that go. thing back, that dickhead. In fact, I think I can bring a sledgehammer. Once I found the sledgehammer, I, ah, uh, you bitch, placed it in okay. the dance pavilion. For safekeeping. <laughs> With that done, back to the road. Clearly, I hadn't learned my lesson from the previous crash, and had still been absolutely sending it wherever I could. Which, of course, ended predictably. To get ourselves there! Fuck. Fuck. Yet again, the windshield was gone. Now, this wouldn't be that big of a deal if I had my helmet. But I didn't. My helmet was, in fact, nowhere to be seen. Shit, where's my helmet? Presumably, at some point in the last few hours, it flew out of my car while I was driving. To prevent getting stung in the eye by a bug, I'd have to drive a lot slower than normal. <laughs> this is about where our comedy of errors begins. I arrived in town. No helmet. I checked the junkyard. No helmet. I drove along the dirt track. No helmet. And then, the engine rat made its appearance. There's a rat in my car! Naturally, I just cranked up the radio and pretended the rat wasn't there. Arriving at the repair shop, I fixed the mangled suspension and replaced the alternator belt. But, the rodent remained. Well, uh, it's I didn't know what was causing the noise, so I just kept driving. Just a bit up the road, however, the radiator started doing this. Well, ah. let's have another look at the engine. I correctly hypothesized that the cause of my engine rodent issue was the water pump being broken. Everything else was spinning properly, but the water pump wasn't. I also checked the oil. <laughs> the oil looked, uh, bad. Now pay attention to this very bad Yeah, that's oil. bad. Remember I see all the your pretty face. I mean, avatar face, no webcam. <laughs> I just want to make sure that there's no webcam pop 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 up. That was something I was a bit wor wor worried about. Because something came up. So, I was just making sure. Remember it. It will be important later. So, after a quick trip back to the repair shop, I could take the old water pump out and get a new- Never mind. It was closed. Yes, today was Saturday, and Fleetari's repair shop wouldn't be open until Monday. So I had to occupy myself until then. Fleetari owns this car. Now it may look cool, but this car kinda sucks major ass. <laughs> but since the Satsuma was out of action, it was really all I had. Taking the car home was fine until I reached the dirt road. Oh my god, it's so bad. On dirt, this car has next to no grip, so I had to drive very slowly and carefully, making sure not to take any corners too fast or risk flying off the track. The grip was so bad that my speed was below 30 miles an hour. Oh, oh my god, no! He's coming, he's coming on my ass! No, 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 no he's, not, he's not doing that. No, no, no. Uh, the rest of the drive was uneventful. I drove it home without dying. I only said some very suspicious sentences. One very suspicious sentence. At home, I really didn't have much to do. So I went to get some food. All right, I'll be back. I've said a lot of suspicious sent sentences, all right? Like, almost every day at this point, without even fucking knowing. And had a good sauna. Now let's but, piss on it. But that's just me. Mm. In the sauna, I pondered. Mm. You gonna make me act up. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Wait a second. Saturday night. Saturday night parties. Dancing. Oh. The dance pavilion. Wait a second. The watch guy. <laughs> I knew just what I had to do. <gasps> oh, there he is. I prepared this earlier. Ah. This is not working. <laughs> uh, fucking. Yep. He knocked me out. Again. I awoke on the bus stop bench in town. 
a whole 30 hours after the fight on Monday. Dude, it what reaches 4,328 kilometers. Dude, what the fuck? I <laughs> whole 30 hours after the fight on Monday. Look, every cloud has a silver lining. Except, of course, nuclear mushrooms. It's coming in my ass, bro. I mean... I mean... I... I would like that, to be honest. <laughs> Clouds would have a lining of strontium-90. This particular cloud silver lining was the fact that it was Monday. The Pletaris would be open. I took the bike back to the muscle car, and the muscle car back to the repair shop. Finally, I could buy a new water pump. And what do you know? The car was fixed. Yep, completely fixed. Nothing else wrong with it whatsoever. Totally fixed. Running flawlessly even. So why don't you just do it? I have done it almost every night. What do you mean? With our perfect 110% really fixed car, I continued on the search for the helmet. I checked around the bushes, some spots where I'd been off-road, and eventually ended up at the small dirt oval track thing. It was here, I just sort of gave up looking for the helmet, and drove around and around at low speed, wondering how on earth low speed. I got into this <laughs> Uh-oh. 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 What happened? What happened? No. No. I'm not out of fuel. What happened? What happened? The big one. The, the search one? of my helmet okay. had landed me here, on a small dirt track, broken down, in the middle of nowhere. I checked the engine oil, and sure enough, it looked just like I'd left it. Black. Replacing the oil didn't help. The damage had already been done. With what I had on hand, there really wasn't much I could do. What had probably happened was a part broke, and the only way for me to get a new one was at the mechanic on the other side of the map. So, I started hypothesizing. Like, the engine might have just, like, seized, or, like... There's just too much gunk. The camshaft? The little gunk <laughs> actually is the, the camshaft. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> it could have been many things, and really, I had no idea what. I still fiddled around a little bit, and in doing so, ran the battery down until it died. Oh. Well... <laughs> Shit. It looked like I was going to have to tow the car all the way from here back to the repair shop. So... Mm -hmm. Another type of... Oh, Jesus Christ, really? You really want that type? Fine. There we go. Jeez. You guys are horny. Allow me to introduce to you the sewage truck. This truck has a powerful engine, is nice and heavy, and is great for towing things. Problem is, the truck is all the way over here at Grandma's house, just outside of walking distance. Well, so duh, so are you? Stop Fair enough. And waited for the bus. <coughs> <laughs> waiting. Just waiting. <laughs> the hair? No stare. Wait, there's the bus. There's the bus. Yes. Stop. Stop, bus. Stop, 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 stop. Bus, bus, bus. Public transportation. The bus took me back to town, where I got in the van, took the van to the repair shop, got out of the van, got on the bike, took the bike to the truck, got off the bike, put the bike in the truck, gently, oh, and began the drive over to Satsuma. I was a bit rusty behind the wheel of this bad boy, so figuring out how everything worked was a bit of a process. But once the truck was worked out, I got on the road and began the drive. Getting to our destination, however, proved to be more difficult. Than expected. Oh my god, no 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 <laughs> Try as I might, the bike just didn't have it in it to get the truck back up. Yeah. Archimedes said, give me a motorbike long enough and a riverbed on which to place it, and I shall flip the truck. Well, at least I had the bike. Everything's fucked. Everything's fucked right. God damn it, my hair keeps getting onto my face. Give me a second. Okay. Right. It's all fucked. None of this is good. It's all fucked. So, what was the plan? Well, it was getting dark and I was tired. So first things first, back home to sleep. 
Okay, <laughs> now what? Gentlemen, allow me to introduce my savior, <laughs> my hero, my messiah, the tractor. The fork loader in the front would be my ticket to truck uprightness, and with my newfound enthusiasm, I set off. <laughs> Several minutes of driving the slowest vehicle on earth later, I arrive. Okay, first things first, let's assess the situation. Alright, the situation has been assessed, let's get back in the tractor and... Off to a flying start! Riding the tractor proved difficult, but we got there in the end. Okay, time for my master plan. Is it just me, or is this video is actually kind of schizo? Like, <clears throat> only November, I'm, I, I'm, I'm fucked. <laughs> is it just me, or like this video is very schizo? Because like, like I know Maxer videos are pretty schizo, but it's just memes and memes and memes, right? This is like the same thing, but with an extra. But at not at all points, but at like not like consistently schizo, but like when it becomes schizo, it's like mega schiz schiz schizo, you know? Wedge the fork in between the ground and the truck, and. Oh. <laughs> Believe me, I tried, but the truck was well and truly bogged beyond saving. So fuck it. I give up. Fuck it. Yes, I admit a defeat, but really, the truck isn't essential. Satsuma is. To get Satsuma back to the repair shop, I plan to put it on the trailer and drive it back via the highway. The problem with that approach is using the fork loader at all. Just fucking get on the fucking trailer, you piece of shit! <laughs> Making matters worse, my fuel was getting lower and lower. Is it your, this is your brain on lower. ADHD? Mm. Uh, Ten minutes of having violent car sex with Satsuma later, it was <laughs> finally on the trailer. Yes! Finally, things were looking up. On the highway, I listened to some sick beats to drown out the thoughts of running out of fuel. But man, the fuel. This appropriate music came on right as my fuel was at its very lowest. If I got stranded out here, that would be fucking miserable. The turn up to the town was in sight. It's gonna make it. It's gonna make it! But the fuel. It was so low, the engine started hiccuping. We were so close. But then. We made it! Hooray! In town, I filled the thirsty, parched, dry tractor with its favorite drink of diesel. I also tried fiddling around a bit with the car, but nothing came of it. So back in the tractor and onto the repair shop. And would you believe it? Right there by the side of the road. Yeah. My helmet. There's the helmet! Yes! I finally found my helmet. At long last, something good happened to me. But, what are those lights? No. Mart. Mart, what are you doing? No, Mart. Get back in the tractor. No, no, Mart. No! <laughs> I'm not sure why I didn't just get back in the tractor and pull over, but, uh, yeah. Here we are. Getting Satsuma back into the trailer, predictably, sucked. But once it was in, yes, I could get back on the road and finally get the car back to the repair shop. And here we are. So, you'd think Dang. that was the end of it, right? We're at the repair shop, surely now- Martin, seriously, why did you decide to do this? It went up to 5,000! I can see it! Dude, Martin! Are you okay, buddy? What made you think this is a good idea? We can just fix up the car and get back on the road. Nope. The pain didn't stop. It only got worse. First, I tried changing some of the easy to access parts. The distributor, the fuel pump, the fuel filter, and the spark plugs. Oh no, did it smash the door? Finally, I have found my purpose. Vehicular destruction of my cousin's car. I am become Pinar. 
Destroyer of car doors. You, you could destroy my door. You just. God. So, let's try again. Yep. No dice. I fiddled with the alternator, took off the cylinder head, and replaced the head gasket. Still didn't work. Three whole hours of the car not working, and things were only looking worse. It wasn't a fuel problem, it wasn't a head gasket problem, it wasn't this, or that, or the other thing. Honestly, I was at a bit of a loss, and all the batteries I had on hand were flat. To get more, I'd have to go into town and buy some. Okay, I'm gonna go buy <laughs> another battery. Naturally, the vehicle for that job was the van. I sped into town, arrived in town, put the batteries in the van, and set back off for the repair shop when I did this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Why? Does this guy know how to drive a car? Because if he does, I would be absolutely horrified to be to be his pass pass passenger. Because seriously, holy shit! Hey, why? Getting the van back upright. Don't let this man drive. Yeah. Difficult. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> That truck driver is like, I don't give a fuck, let me just do that. Look, I've been to Finland. Finland is probably the most kindest people on earth. But they're also the most awkward people I've ever seen. Like, seriously. But, like, Finnish people are so awkward. But once you become their friend, they're like the best mates you could ever think, think of. Seriously, those are Finnish people. Those are Finnish people. They're fucking awesome. But only once they open, oh, 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 no, 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 I cannot speak. Once they op open up, though. Oh, this is a fucking nightmare. Oh this no! Is a fucking nightmare. It won't end. I can't flip the car. Might be a car issue. Have you tried fixing it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god, sit! Back at the repair shop, I put everything together and tried starting the car up again. It didn't work. I tried another battery. It didn't work. I got a new rocker shaft. It didn't work. I took the fuel tank out. For some reason. That didn't work. <laughs> I concluded that I had no idea what was wrong and that I probably needed to rebuild the engine. If I couldn't figure it out, surely replacing every single part would fix it. Right? Right? How many of well, I really had no other choice. So... <laughs> Hello, Hayes. Welcome. I got to work. Onto pistons. I think the boot's not attached right. That's why the car's not starting, man. <laughs> How did that even happen? Not attached right. That's why the car's not starting, man. <laughs> I kind of... Figure this out. I'll replace literally all these parts. Yeah, there goes the gearbox. These pistons are fucked. <laughs> oh, it worked! Half an hour of rebuilding the engine later, the new parts were in, and it was back in the car. Wonderful. And so, I gave it a go. Let's give it a roll. And the battery was flat. <laughs> so I tried another. Also flat. Yeah. And another. Flat again. Yep. That's right. I had run every single battery on the map down to zero charge. I tried charging a dead battery at the charger at home. Dead batteries can't be charged. I looked in Timo's shop. No batteries. He was sold out. The engine was fixed, but I couldn't start it. Just fuck. I searched far and wide for a single battery with a morsel of charge. Nothing. Five hours of the car being broken, and it was still fucking broken. <laughs> you can hear the pain. The pain. The pain! <laughs>
All I could really do was just... <laughs> the pain! <laughs> Hey, look, here's an idea. Why not just take the battery off other cars and put it in your car? Right? You could just do that, right? Just take the battery off another car and put it off your, in your car. Right? Just around, drink beer and wait for the shop to restock. Just steal for it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just, just take the battery. <laughs> He used every battery on the map. What about inside the cars, though? Like in, in like inside of any of random cars, batteries will not like the car would not work without a battery. Why don't you just take it from another car? He did. Oh, okay. He used them too. Oh. Oh. Okay, then I'm a pe pig. <laughs> I'm a pe pig. It took ages. But finally, finally, oh my god, they're back. Batteries! Yes! I put a fresh one in, and... Alright. I'm fucking nervous. This better work. Alright, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Gentlemen, after six hours of broken Satsuma, it finally worked. And now was time for Either. my dastardly plan. You see, the distance done stat counts distance by measuring the car's speedometer. Not the actual speed, but the speed the car thinks it's going. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce to you the dynamometer. Typically used to measure the power of a vehicle, I was going to use it to spin the tires as fast as physically possible. First gear, 60 kilometers an hour. Second gear, 100. Third gear, 150. Fourth gear, 226 kilometers Pretty an hour. Pretty fast! The highest possible speed in the Satsuma. Now you might think, but this is cheating. And um, yes. But cast your eyes to the distance left stat. Now, <laughs> oh my God. let me speed up the video. Do you notice anything alarming? Is there anything about this video that seems off? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> the distance left is still going up. <laughs> this is where I finally realized I was truly doomed. Even at the highest possible speed, it still wasn't enough to outpace the ravenous viewers. And even better, a few minutes of running the car at its highest RPM later, the engine Why are the brakes not working? did this. Why are the brakes not working? Ah! Oh no, 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 don't break my car, no, stop, stop! <laughs> Removing the engine once more, I found a, uh, do we have a hole in the block? Yeah. <laughs> Giant hole in the engine block. Fuck. Oh yeah! God. I think this game is more about fixing cars than driving it at this point. <laughs> and what do you know, the engine was ready for a test. <laughs> of course, now that I'd rebuilt the whole thing, all of the new parts were untuned. It's uh, not very powerful, so it ran like shit. Well, fuck. And finally, after That's almost the point. exactly eight hours of not having the car drive on the dirt track, we were back. 19 and a half hours on long streams like this tends to be very close to maximum pain. Around oh, this no! time, it was about like this tends to be very close to maximum pain. Oh no! Not this video! Oh no! Around this time, it was about 4 a.m. I hadn't seen you should try this game in your fucking dreams! Flight in over eight hours, the donations and their annoying messages hadn't stopped for the entire stream, and my desire to sleep was incredibly intense. This is where I start <laughs> getting a bit delusional and paranoid. What if someone finds out where I live? What if Chad isn't willingly giving me money, but I'm stealing it from them? I think this is a game this stream was 28 hours? Yes, now it's 18 hours. Yes. I mean, why am I even here anyway? I don't deserve this. This whole thing is a mistake. I'm not supposed to be here. Someone else. Oh, you get your head back. Fly Fly oh, come on. Probably be paying attention to the road. I'm just zoned out. <laughs> it really didn't help that half the donation messages went something along the lines of, "Ha ha, we are torturing you for our entertainment." Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. Go. I feel pain, bro. <laughs> yeah, not very nice. But I knew just the guy to take it all out on. Watch guy. I won. I beat him up. <laughs> Did I feel a sense of a I won. I beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Accomplishment? No. Oh. Did I feel a sense of satisfaction? No. Did I feel anything? Oh. Not really. I the think she's. I, really felt I think she's deading. Felt was pain. Lots and lots of pain. And where else to lay my feelings to rest than the blackjack table? I think it's time for a game of blackjack, gentlemen. And so I sat there, slowly losing my money, slowly losing my mind. I think... I think it was time to give up. Twenty and a half hours of my summer car later, I had driven 585 kilometers, and the distance had increased from 1500 to 6448 kilometers. <laughs> Fuck. So, that's it. That was the stream. I haven't touched my summer car since, <laughs> but Finland doesn't forget, and Finland never forgives. Literally every <laughs> single thing I have done since then has had a flood of comments underneath it about the drive. Literally everywhere. Community posts, my second channel, Twitter, even my Instagram that I've never even mentioned one single time, and occasionally <laughs> in real life too. So I guess I have unfinished business. Now, this challenge would literally never end if I didn't change something. So I've changed something. Instead of donations adding distance, they make playing the game a living hell. You horrible people can now fuck with the steering, accelerate and brake, add piss, and make me a violent alcoholic for a short period. All the proceeds from the big first stream will be going towards the Royal Children's Hospital Foundation. The only thing that can still add distance is subscribers. So if you want to prolong my pain just a little bit more, subscribe and I'll drive one more meter. The next big stream will be in about a week. I'll drive for 24 hours and the proceeds, once again, will be donated to the Royal Children's <laughs> So join me in my future <laughs> Finnish endeavors and mark my words, this distance will read zero. Eventually. What an action.
actually a good video. Please go to Marty Sito Pans, give a like, and subscribe to him. That is such a good video, holy shit. I haven't laughed that hard in a while. I have not laughed that hard in a long, long time. That was a good fucking video. Holy shit. Wait, I got a message on Discord. Can you show your underwear? No.